Hai, I am 2210516 Muhammad Haris Irfan Bia Kok Assalamualaikum and good morning To all youngsters and also Netflix lovers out there Okay, why I mention Netflix lovers? Because today we have Miss Nurul Shahalina And Miss Putri Which I claim themselves as a regular Netflix user Hi all, Hi all. Hello, I'm 2210528 Putri Nur Alisa and I'm uh, 2210527 Nurul Shahalina and Binti Hassan I'm so happy to see you guys and welcome to my channel Thank you for inviting us today Haris Yes, I'm so excited today because I heard that we're going to talk about a movie called War Machine which was a trendy movie in Netflix Media once upon a time Oh yes, absolutely So girls, do you guys have watched this movie? Of course, I heard about this movie around 2017 and they have Brad Pitt as the hero. This is so exciting and of course good actor in good movie which attract me to watch this movie while enjoying my choco mint ice cream. What about you Putri? Yes, same goes to me. I'm getting more excited when I knew that the hero is actually Brad Pitt, right? Yes, true. Yes, and he changed his character by how he's walking, how he's talking, just to be as the character called General McMahon. Yes, uh, I bet you, Harris, you don't watch this movie yet, right? <laughs> yes, because I'm into anime, but when I saw some clips in TikTok and girls, why not we try to watch another genre of movie, right? Yes, of course. So, what War Machine really is? War Machine is referred to Pete's character actually and called Glenn McMahon or also known as Glenimer which is real life is Stanley McChrystal who was becomi becoming a leader of the war in Afghanistan after the September 11th uh, to vanish the terrorists. This movie is fiction, but it's a story about General McChrystal persona. Mm. What I interest about with character is um, General McMahon is a four stars with special routine, which are he only eat only one meal and sleep four hours a day and run seven miles every morning for his entire life. I bet I can do that. Really? Yes. Wow, that is an interesting character that we can look forward. In the movie, I think I'm a little bit confused about the conflict between the Glenn and the Mr. President. Can you guys explain it clearly? Yes, sure. Actually, General McMahon is the one very powerful leader of US forces in Afghanistan. But he got less power. As, as proof, uh, he has no communication with the President to discuss according about the mission in Afghanistan since the day he arrived. This can be portrayed when a reporter asks Glenn uh, about how many times did Glenn have spoken to the president in 70 days. As we can see, there's always have boundaries and assignment in the government until the counter exigency policy doesn't look as a serious action. So, based on this movie, what are the solutions? due to problem appear between government and the military. Oh, I think Glenn himself trying so hard to clean up the mess. Yes, me too. Yeah. However, his team just being honest while Glenn was being interviewed by the reporter in spite they will look like breaking the secret in government to the US civilian. Then after you watch this movie, what have you analyzed in the in this movie? from a military perspective yes as we know the mission in this move in this movie was fair right but um, because of so many factors appeared uh, external and internal what i have analyzed based on SWOT analysis the strength will be the leader itself they have charismatic leader with his own mission and very employee centered behavior which is caring towards his troops. This can be portrayed when General McMahon come approach his troop called Sasquatch. I have heard that before and I interest with the weakness of this movie mm -hmm. that we can see which uh, one of the team uh, 
inviting and communicate with a writer while the others have a party and bar which brings so much trouble to the team's reputation. I think one of the factors why the mission was failed because they have lack of communication in one team. Yes, absolutely. I am sorry for interrupt, but I think uh, for the opportunity section, they always have the chance to win in Afghanistan without war, as what counterinsurgency had served. But yeah, for guys like Glenn, however, counterinsurgency hasn't worked for one simple reason. Nobody ever done it right. And that is why they never win the war in Afghanistan because there's always threats from the government by showing corruption here and there and give law support towards Glenn's team. Ooh, I think uh, there's a lot of topic that we have discussed about this time, right? For me, uh, there's a lot of lessons that we can learn to yeah, apply in yeah, our sure. daily life mm. or in any organization that we can achieve uh, the goal without any issues. And I hope the government in our country can cope with corruption and less drama but more positive development and any causes. Yeah, same goes to me. I hope leader in our country can take this movie or history as lesson to build up a country with success. Thanks to you both willing to participate in my video. I hope we can see each other again in another time and another place. Alright, thank you for inviting us today. Yes, thank you Aris. Thank you for watching my video before leaving. I don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. We'll meet again in my next video with more interesting and famous guesses. Bye.